Okay, so um, next series on the RK008 is about the menus. Um, and um, these are all under the gray buttons here. You can see in orange the uh, indication of what's under there. And um, I'll just start by uh, menu one. I've made a uh, little setup with the uh, focus sample here and an ovation for key input. The um, Volca is uh, connected with the RK2, so I can do little melody things. Let's see. Well, let's uh, start with the bass sound uh, and let's go into menu one, which is accessible with Alt 1. This menu is about length, um, a length, part length, and a part contains uh, eight tracks. So I can set it to a length by the digits here, like this, four beats, which is uh, one bar. Um, the length can be, well, about 600, let's see, 630 in the range. Well, a lot. Uh, it could be a whole uh, song you record into it, but um, we have a little other method to do that. Uh, this is more for making parts of a song. So let's make it one bar first, also for demonstration. Um, let's see, um, now I can record something. Okay, so I've recorded the bass in this part. Um, let's just do a quick quantize for uh, safety. There. Okay. Um, now, what else is in Alt 1? Um, I can go to the right with the increment and decrement uh, buttons. Uh, here I can uh, tell the part signature. Um, I'll activate the metronome with Alt 8. Let's see. It's here. Play and rec. So now the metronome will always play. And now I can show you what the signature does. You see, it changes the pattern of the um, metronome. Because, yeah, actually you don't have a signature in a part. You can make it any length you want. But uh, for a little guidance, you can change the signature sound of the metronome. So, I'll put it back to record again. Um, what else is there? So signature and here are uh, a lot of skills you can choose. You can type one like this with the digits, but you can also keep alt pressed and go to a different skill with the increment and decrement buttons. This kind of method, input method works with a lot of other menus as well. So um, when I change a scale, um, you don't actually hear it yet. So nothing changes. Um, that's because you have to set a track to adhere to that scale. So I have track one here and I press Alt 5, which is the transpose menu. And in a transpose menu on the right, there's a scaled flag. You can choose to have it scaled to that scale on the part, on the length menu. So when I now go to scale, it goes into major, and it changes the, yeah, the scale. So also works on transposing. Okay, so let's go into it again. Uh, length, signature, scale, and yeah, then there's also part name. Um, this part name you can uh, input with a uh, old phone type method. You can go into the menu with rec, and then you can choose characters with the digits here. So, so let's say like this. So where's the R? You can go to the right like this. And when you finish, you go to 
the end with rec and then it's accepted and now when you go through parts uh, it will uh, display the name of the part in the display um, it will not show in pause but it will show uh, in stop like this so um, then there's another thing when you have a part with content um, you might want to change the length of the part and there are different ways you can uh, change the length in the RK8 uh, one thing is just uh, typing the new length press enter and then you see an extend method you want to extend blank or looped or stretched so let's go blank first press enter to accept and now when you play this uh, the second half is blank but um, maybe we don't want it blank maybe we'll want to repeat it so first I'll cut it down to four beats again and then I can choose if I want to keep the beginning of the part or the end. Well, the end will be only blank, so I'll choose to keep the beginning. And now I have my loop back. Okay, so and now I can choose the other uh, length method, like 8. And now I choose looped. And now you'll hear that the pattern is repeated through the 8 beats. So. Um, then there's another thing, the third method of lengthening or shortening a part is the stretch method. So now I'm back into the four beats again, and now I go to eight beats and choose the stretched method. So and if I now play it, you'll hear that it has stretched the existing MIDI data to um, well, eight bars, and I can play other stuff with it. Well, and I will do a quantize and a mix down, and I can also thin the track and remove doubles okay but that's for another uh, another item uh, now I have made a uh, base loop over the base loop that I had already and now I can choose to shorten it again again I use the stretch method and now I'll play it well, and now it has uh, compressed the MIDI data into four beats. Well, that's about all for the uh, length method. Um, yeah, um, another button, I guess.